Well, good morning, collectors. Uh, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time viewing my videos, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to do a nice little video on um, World War II Marine Corps canteen covers. There was five different patterns they used during the war. So let me take you in here and show you a little bit about the different canteens and the canteen co covers that the Marine Corps would have used during World War II. All right, here's the first pattern canteen cover that the Marines used. It just had a, a simple lift a dot snap on it on each side. And another reason to tell the Marine canteen covers is it's like uh, stitching here on the back of it. It's got the guy's name and his unit. No hole, no hole in the bottom. And the Marines used these... They put these up higher than the Army ones. The Army ones had theirs right about here. All right, here's the second pattern, Marine Corps canteen cover. You can see the stitching right there. And also the second pattern will have what they call lift do lifted dots, snaps, one on each side. And the bottom of them is solid. You can see where to you clip it on your belt. It's sitting up high compared to the Army one. All right, here's the third pattern. These were called uh, rabbit ears. Cross laps. This is a UNIS marking on here. It tells the unit of the what the Marine was in. And third pattern did not have the hole in the bottom. Flip it around. And uh, on the third patterns, they dropped these down on the center, just like the Army ones. And this is a fourth pattern. It's, just, it's identical to the third pattern, but if you look under the bottom, there's a hole in there that's stitched all around it. And the reason for that was it was used, this would be used as a funnel. So you can Yeah, this would be used as a funnel. You would unscrew the top of your canteen and put the hole over there, just like that. And you would have somebody take a jerry can filled with water and pour water inside the canteen cover. That way it would fill up your canteen a little quicker. All right, now there was a fifth pattern would would be identical to the first pattern which would have the snaps on it and on the bottom of the fifth one it would have your hole in the bottom to use as a funnel also but those are hard to get and they're very rare all right i'll show you a comparison between the marine corps canteen covers and that standard army issue canteen cover this one, like I say, was the Marine Corps one, second pattern. Inside, there was no felt or anything like that in there. Now, when you move over to the Army one, look inside an Army cover, and you got insulation in there. The Marine Corps did not do this. Now, as I was coming home today, I stopped at an antique shop, and I picked this up today. It's got a 1942 cover on it, and it had the canteen, but the canteen's got some dents in it. I really can't read the markings or the date, but picked that up for $8, so not too bad. Now I'll talk a little bit about the canteens. 
All right, here's some different canteens I use. This here was kind of an experimental thing made out of uh, plastic. And they made these in 1942, 1943, and 1944. And they're usually marked on the bottom. Can't get that very good. 43 on that one. And here's a porcelain canteen in black. They're usually dated on the bottom. These were made in, I believe, 42, 43, and 44 also. And here's the blue porcelain canteen. It's got the porcelain cup with it. And this one is undated. Now, I was told that uh, the black canteen cups they only made those in 1942 unfortunately i don't have one and they are really expensive probably in the range of maybe three to five hundred dollars just for a porcelain cup well i hope this video is a little helpful to you if you are if you follow me regularly you'll see on my last several videos that i've only been posting german items but I collect everything World War II, German, American, Japanese, and a little bit of British. And uh, trying to get a little bit of Russian stuff together for my museum. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Well, that'll do it for my video. Hope you enjoyed that one. If you liked it, please hit the like button, ring that notification bell, and please subscribe to my channel. Until then, we'll see you on the next video. Have a good day.